right, here we go. 410 sprints back in action tonight. Lucas Oil Speedway, your pole setter. The Open Wheel Mafia, Choice Inc. Esports driver, Justin Smolden into 203. Jamie Kephart, the boogeyman himself, and that trash panda. Choice Inc. Esports into number two there. Chris Beavers and the Beavers race team. And Jonathan Flowers, Motorsports there in that number three spot. AJ Counton from Michigan for Next Level Racers. Joshua Divers in the five spot for Chaos. Ethan in the six for Flowers Motorsports there. Andrew, back here in the seven for Capsule with Time Motorsports. And Wyatt Walker in the GNW Racing number eight spot here tonight. It's Valentine's Day. We got a few less drivers out here because they want to stay married, I guess. So 73 degrees. Uh, it's going to rain maybe. 38 uh, chance uh, there. Uh, partly cloudy. Two mile an hour winds. Big thanks again to 614 Setups for being the title sponsor here tonight. And like I said, with it being Valentine's Day, we got Jonathan Flowers in the booth because, you know, why wouldn't you want to have a partner in the booth? Jonathan Flowers, you got a copy. Yeah, I got you. Well, I mean, it's Valentine's Day. We got eight drivers out here. Apparently, we're going to have eight single drivers uh, after tonight's racing is what I was told by several drivers that can't make the race. They're like, man, I want to stay married. Well, I can tell you, more than half these guys are married and I think that's going to be okay tomorrow. Oh, definitely, definitely. And, uh, well, quite obvious, but uh, I always have flowers. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're off and racing. Uh, Justin Smolden out front right there and flowers in the booth with us. Kephart in that two spot right now. And we'll watch the battle in the back here side by side. There is the chaos driver. Joshua Divers putting himself right in the bottom of there. There's Andrew back there with a tight battle there with Wyatt and Walker. Walker up in that middle lane there and woo, putting it right there in the middle. The 85 going to the number six spot. And he'll look to stay up on the high side here as everybody tries to race around him down low. There's Joshua Divers and A.J. Counton in that number five machine there for next level racers trying to chase down Joshua Divers out here tonight up front it's kephart he jumped out to a good size lead there left smolden in the dust he's back there in the number two spot right now we got a great battle we're keeping an eye on here my walker out around and up to the high side contact made with the double zero of ethan but up front it's the boogeyman with a good size lead smolden in the two spot chris beavers in the three nice battle right here wyatt walker now to the four spot getting around joshua divers Single file all the way back through the rest of the field here. Chris Beavers in a good battle here with the 203. What do you see at Flowers? Yeah, definitely. I've been watching this battle right here as White Walker slips up. Uh, I've seen that. But uh, Chris Christian Beavers running around the bottom there. And uh, the 203 has moved down as he's seen uh, Beavers had a good line going there. And uh, now he's pulling away. Yeah, we see that right there. There's A.J. Counting back there. A couple guys messing around. The 5 and the 19 side by side. They go. Jamie Kephart, still your leader by a country mile. The boogeyman himself in that 2K machine. Out front, Smolten into two. Chris Beavers in that three spot. Wyatt Walker bruising into four. And he'll look to make a pass on the high side. And it's dangerous up there, but a lot of speed up there, Flowers. Oh, yeah, there is a lot of speed up there. But if you get over that berm... Uh, you lose a lot, if not, uh, well, a wrecked car. <laughs> so, uh, these guys got to play it safe. I think Beavers is going to try and uh, drive that bottom and uh, see if he can't get that bottom side working. It looks like it's not too bad right now in that hole. Yeah, it's looking good, but you see the fast line up there on the high side. We're watching Wyatt Walker rolling in up there, but you're living on the edge, but it looks like that's where he's wanting to be here. As he's in the number three spot right now, trying to work himself onto the 203 of Justin Smolden. 19 laps left to go here at Lucas Oil Speedway, and it's been a dandy so far, Flowers. Oh, yeah, definitely is. As uh, teammates uh, Ethan and uh, Beavers racing it out for the four spot now. Looks like Ethan makes the pass. Uh, Christian Beavers says, uh, well, you're a little faster. I'll let you on by there. But uh, looks like Ethan's trying to watch this battle up in front of him with Justin Smolin and uh, Wyatt Walker. And uh, he's going to buy his time and see if these guys are... Uh, going to tangle up or if he's going to be able to make a pass on him that all yeah you see the times right there on the board Wyatt Walker with two tenths quicker last lap than even Jamie Kephart there so he's got some speed he found in that 85 
He's just going to have to work his way around. Looks like on the high side here, he's going to try to go on the 203 here as the double zero of Ethan in that speed ranch set up shot machine there, trying to close the gap there also. He's in the four spot. And a little contact there with the wall for Ethan. He'll go to the bottom side. 14 laps to go here. Flowers, what are you seeing? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Kephart cruising to a 3.1 second lead there. Oh, as uh, Wyatt Walker and Justin Smolin tangle up. Yeah, Justin uh, that's Smolin gonna got, call a little, Smolin. got a little out of control there as he tried to get back out onto the track there. Justin Smolin, tough break for him. You'll see that drop all the way back to the seven spot. Wyatt Walker now to the two spot. Let's go back and watch it here for the folks at home that are curious at what happened there. Between the 203 and the Wyatt Walker here. Looks like Smolden comes up right there and tags him. Boom. So, uh, not a good look there for Smolden, but he's able to keep it rolling here. So, Wyatt Walker up there doing his thing. Smolden's going to drop it down to the pits and park it down there. Jamie Kephart, he's their leader right now. Wyatt Walker in the two. Ethan in the three. Beavers back there in the four. Divers in the five. Andrew and AJ in that six and seven spot nine laps to go flowers it's looking good out here oh yeah definitely uh looks like the best battle on the track right now would be between wyatt walker and ethan uh is uh ethan is trying to get on the back bumper of wyatt wyatt seems to be tracking kephart down he cut that three second deficit down to a 2.4 as we got a caution out now Washing out on the speedway here. I believe it's the AJ Counting, and it looks like AJ Counting here as he's up against the wall here. And we'll take a quick look here as we'll rewind it back here for you folks at home here. And looks like he goes down there and gets some of that Wyatt Walker tire. Boom! My, oh my. We went from sprint car racing to wingless sprints in a heartbeat. So that one's on AJ Counting. That was on AJ Counting there. No harm, no foul. We'll get him lined back up. He's in the pits. So let's get him grouped up. Let's go. That was a wreck there, Flowers. Oh, yeah, definitely. And uh, that goes to show you that touching those tires and these things whatsoever can destroy your race. Absolutely. As we see now that gap we were talking about a minute ago with White Walker two tenths quicker than everybody else on the track at that one point. Now he's right up to the back bumper here. He'll have an outside start here on Jamie Kephart. Kephart, your leader down there in that number 2K boogeyman machine. We'll let him go one more time for scoring. Can I get a black clear? Josh and Labs don't count, so we'll get them going here. Let's see what these guys need right here. Yeah, you got to watch them. I tell you, what up, Swamp? Good to see you, my man. How we doing tonight? The boogeyman right there. First caution of the night. Not bad. We'll take it. Pace trucks off. Flowers, we're going to close this one with eight to go here. Caution laps not counting. It's a pretty good thing, eh? Oh, yeah, definitely, and uh, I want to see the battle between this uh, top three here, see how it ends up as Ethan is side-by-side side in one and two with Wyatt Walker, and uh, we'll see how it goes here, Nato. Yeah, Wyatt Walker in that number two spot there. Jamie Kephart, still your leader there. Ethan back there, he's in that number three spot with six laps to go. Chris Beaver's there also in the mix, so a lot of guys back here racing it up here tonight. Ethan now up to the high side. He sees the speed that's up there with five to go here at Lucas Oil. Everybody's trying to chase down the boogeyman. He is your leader up front there in that beautiful 2K machine. And we'll see if he can hold off the weapon behind him. Ethan there in that three spot. Looks like he tagged the wall a little bit there. So Ethan going to fall back just a little bit as we close in the three laps here to go. There's Andrew and Joshua Divers back here battling out for five and six. But up front with three to go, Flowers. We got a tight one closing in here. Oh, yeah, definitely a good one coming. Wyatt Walker, as you said, Night Hawk, he is tracking down Kephart. But uh, he's going to have to stay smooth and uh, not mess up here and see what he can get done. Uh, looks like Kephart is... Uh, Still ripping that high side. He's trying to stay smooth. So it's going to come down to who's smooth and who's not. Yep, you see it right now. Jamie Kephart, white flag out for him. Ethan Battle in there with Wyatt Walker. It's the boogeyman out front looking to get that checkered flag, and he'll grab it here tonight. Jamie Kephart wins it at Lucas Oil. And you got Wyatt Walker in the two spot. Ethan in the three. Unofficial results left of the screen. 
Top three, start finish line. Kephart, Walker, Ethan. Good run. What a race there. Well, that was pretty good. Yeah, I definitely called that one out for Kephart. Uh, he uh, wound up with a uh, good race there. Absolutely. Right there, your race winner, Jamie Kephart, out of Georgia here. We'll get over here and get the mic skewed up for the post-race interviews here. We'll start off with Ethan. Does he have a mic? All right, here we go. We're going to start off with the third place driver out here tonight up three spots for a qualify at the speed range shut up shop machine. Ethan, you got a copy? Yes, sir. Hey, good to hear you, man. Good race out there. P3, I know the heat race didn't go the way you wanted it to go, but you're able to come back, show yourself off here in the A main here tonight. P3, right down your race force. I don't know. I just messed up in qualifying. I went to the top in qualifying. I was faster. I ran up. Extra lap just to see what I was at on top. I ran a 12, I think 0 10. So I messed up in qualifying, heat race. I just, just a rookie mistake to do that and start a six and just drag my way up there. Yeah, absolutely. Job well done, Ethan. Congratulations again on the P3 here tonight. And uh, who's them great sponsors you want to thank, bud? Uh, I just want to thank Flowers Motors for all he does and what about it? Awesome stuff. There you have it. Ethan P3 here tonight. Great work. Whatever now to our second place driver. They call him the weapon out of Bowling Springs, South Carolina. You got a copy? Yes, sir. I got you. Hey, good run also. And the heat race did not go in your favor. You got down there, hit that big old tractor tire, threw you to the back, and you came up six spots here in the feature. It was killing the speed charts there. We were watching it every lap. You were getting quicker and quicker. Uh, up six spots. Why break down your race force here in the A main? Yeah, I knew it was going to be top track, but I started throwing the slider line in turn one, and it seemed to be working. That's where I was gaining the most ground on everybody. So I just ran that line the whole race, and then I was happy to see the caution, but I just couldn't I couldn't run the same line after the caution. I kept going over the edge, and I was just trying to hold on. But I got close to Jamie once, but I think he kind of seen what I was running, or I'm sure he knows what to run. Then he moved a little bit, and then he started leaving me again. But I'll take second, especially coming from the back. Yeah, absolutely. Job well done. And uh, who's some great sponsors you want to thank tonight, Wyatt? Walker Grid Plantations, Dirt FX Designs, and you for doing this every week. And uh, apologize to Smolden if the contact between me and him was my fault. I'm not sure. I have to go back and look. But if it is, I apologize. Absolutely. There you have it. Wy Walker P2 here tonight. We'll take a look here and – We'll go over now to our race winner, the boogeyman himself from Georgia, up one spot from where he qualified. Jamie Kephart, you got a copy? Yeah, mate. Hey, good run out there tonight, man. It looks like another deja vu here from last week, starting off with a big win in the 410s, and that's the only way you can sweep the night is by winning the first one. And job well done here. Very quick out here at Lucas Oil tonight, man. Break down your race for us. Yeah, man, it was uh... – it was a little mishap. I think I had the same beginning of that heat race. I went off the firm. I uh, luckily kept it, uh, kept it uh, under control as I get back on the track. I think I did it two or three times in turn one. I don't know why. I just couldn't predict the firm over there. But we had that problem. Uh, worked through it. Started uh, changing up the lines a little bit and stuff like that. I didn't notice uh, right before the caution that Wyatt was gaining on me pretty hard. So, And after that uh, after that restart, I was definitely paying attention where, uh, where he was gaining speed and stuff. So... I was just trying to keep it straight. I mean, I think I come in a turn four and bent sideways about 15 times. So, uh, kind of luck of the draw here tonight. So, we'll definitely take it and uh, very appreciative for it. So. Yeah, absolutely. Job well done. And congratulations again on the big win here tonight at Lucas Oil. And uh, who's some great sponsors you want to thank tonight, Kephart? I think uh, Scrub Hugger Graphics, Mr. Blake Dillon, and his wife Courtney for doing amazing wraps. I uh, like the one you see on my car now. They did an awesome job. Hit them up. They're uh, fairly priced everything. They do an awesome job. Scrub Hugger Graphics, hit them up. Uh, Got to thank uh, my team also, Choice Inc. Esports, Trash Panda Mafia, Boss Contracting, all the sponsors for these dirt nights. Um, and I uh, appreciate you and Mr. Flowers up in the booth for uh, putting on the, uh, announcing the good show for us, man. Appreciate y'all. Absolutely. There you have it. Jamie Kephart, your race winner here tonight in the 410 Sprints. Wyatt Walker in the two and Ethan going to round out your top three. Great race, guys.